as you probably have heard, Windows 11 is coming out and it has some minimum system requirements for you to be able to upgrade to it. In this video, we'll manually check what the requirements are and if your system meets them. To check these stats, go to your Windows search bar and search about your PC or navigate to About in Settings. Inside here, we can see the processor. The first thing we want to check is the processor speed, because in order to run Windows 11, you'll need 1 GHz or faster with two or more cores. And inside here, you can see my processor. This is an Intel Core processor, an i5-7200U. Here, we can see the speed of the processor. It's 2.5 GHz and a little bit faster with boost. So the speed of this processor is absolutely fine. The uh, second little limitation we should look at here is actually the processor's generation. You can see here is my name of the processor, or rather this one. It's an Intel processor and it's an i5. The generation indicator is this 7 here in the thousands. So if your processor also is in the 7th generation, it will be 7000 something. If it's in the 6th generation, it will be 6000 something. And if it's 10,000 something, it's in the 10th generation and not 1st generation. It works in a similar way for AMD processors, which usually also indicates the generation by the thousands after the name, like Ryzen 5, and then we have 5000 something or something like that. Before, Microsoft talked about a limitation that would only roll out the Windows 11 to 8th gen processors or higher tier value, which means that my computer would not be eligible. However, they have now drawn back this statement and it looks like the 7th generation at least will be able to get Windows 11 if it reaches the other requirements. However, this will most likely be a soft cap, which means that it's not recommended to install Windows 11 on an older system. But if you meet the requirements, you should be able to run it. The second thing we should look at is actually RAM, random access memory. You'll need at least 4 GB of RAM to be able to run Windows 11 or even install it. Here you can see I have 16 GB of RAM. If you need to install more RAM into your system, please watch my tutorial about this in the description. If you are unsure about what version of Windows you run, you can scroll down here and see that we run Windows 10. It will only be from Windows 10 you can directly upgrade to Windows 11. So if you have an older Windows system, you'll need to first upgrade to 10 in order to get eligible for the free Windows 11 upgrade. We should now close this down and we will hold Windows key and click X again because we need to look at the device manager. Another system requirement that will be required in order to run Windows 11 in the future is a TPM, Trusted Platform Module, of version 2 or newer. In the device manager you can see under security devices. We'll expand this and we can see that we have a Trusted Platform Module 2.0, which means we have this ship required. If your TPM does not exist here, you might not be eligible for Windows 11. To get more information about your TPM, you'll need to hold Windows key and click R as in Roger. Here we write in tpm.msc. Under status, you can see the TPM is ready for use. If it's not ready for use, or if you didn't find it, you can check in BIOS if it's unactivated and needs to be activated from the BIOS. You'll also need to check that you have UEFI Secure Boot capable system. So to check this, you will write into search MS Info and run the system information app. Down here, you can check at BIOS mood. And here we can see UEFI. This means uh, we have UEFI Secure Boot capable system. Now in here, you can also confirm that you actually have two or more cores. 
most uh, modern processors do have two or more cores, but under the processor here it actually lists how many cores you have, which is two cores with four threads. Now we need to check what graphics card we have. To do this we will go to Windows Search again and write in DXDiag and we should now run the DirectX Diagnostics tool. To run Windows 11 we require a DirectX 12 compatible graphics card. If we go down here to DirectX version you can see it says DirectX 12. If this is a lower value watch my how to update any graphics driver tutorial in description and check again. There is another value we need to check here which is the WDDM. Go to display and here under drivers you see the driver model. It says WDDM 2.1 this needs to be 2.0 or higher in order for it to work. And again, if it's a lower value, watch my update driver tutorial and look again. And another thing you definitely need is of course free space. Hold Windows key and click E. And here you can see your computer. The drive marked with the Windows logo is the drive which has Windows 10 installed on it. And you probably want to use this drive for Windows 11 as well, of course, because this is usually the fastest drive in the system. So here you can see I have 51 gigabytes free. And the storage required to install Windows 11 is 64 gigabytes or larger. So I will have to clean up my system in order to upgrade. I am making a tutorial of how to clean your system thoroughly and hopefully it is out when you watch this video. Look for it in the description and clean your system so you can fit the upgrade. Start your settings app again and uh, you can see we have a local account which is not signed in. In order to upgrade from Windows 10 Home to Windows 11 Home we actually need to be logged in to our Microsoft account. So I will need to create a Microsoft account and log into it in order to get the upgrade. So if you got Windows 10 and meet all the listed requirements, well, then you should be able to get Windows 11 for free. And I'll probably make some good tutorials on how to make the setup process when everything is ready. So keep subscribed for that and check my other tutorials if you were missing some of the requirements. I hope this video helped you and if it did, please leave a like. This is your host, Jim Desm, signing out.